Hello and welcome to our Sunday Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for the Most Holy Trinity. Far from merely academic concerns of professional theologians, the Church's teaching about the triune God is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. It is the mystery of God in himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. In contemplating and loving the Blessed Trinity, we behold the truth of who God really is, a communion of persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It is that mystery and that life that we are called to share in. The Church is a creation of the triune God, from the Father who sends his Son and his Spirit to transform creaturely person, so they come to share with the uncreated persons of the Trinity, and with one another a communion of divine life. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Today we celebrate the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity. This mystery is the substance and foundation of all our Christian faith. Every Christian is baptised in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The words spoken by the priest at the moment of baptism are not empty words. They are not merely the expression of a doctrine that we are obliged to believe in. Those words give origin to the spiritual life produced in us by the waters of baptism. Through baptism, we belong to the Holy Trinity. Pope Pius XII says that when we speak of the Trinity, we must do so with caution and modesty. For, as St. Augustine says, nowhere else are more dangerous errors made, or is research more difficult, or discovery more fruitful? Speaking imprudently and without humility about the Trinity can result in a lot of confusion. And Pope Pius XII limits himself to saying, this is the Catholic faith, that we should adore one God in Trinity and Trinity in unity. This is a profound mystery and there is no human mind that can adequately comprehend it, let alone explain it. But then the human soul is capable of reaching out to God, of living and experiencing within itself the mysteries of the divinity. And one of the concepts that can help us to understand the mystery of the Trinity is the concept of love. We always say that God is love and creates a relationship between at least two persons. Love unites a community of persons. So in God, there is a community of love between the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. God invites us to participate in this community of love. For this reason, he sent his Son to teach us how to love. And before ascending into heaven, Christ promised us the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us, who unites us to God in a bond of love. God has revealed his innermost secret. 
He is an external exchange of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and he has destined us to share in that exchange. Filled with joy, we now pray that the preaching and teaching of the Church will bless all with the desire to share in the life of the Blessed Trinity, that through the justice of earthly rulers will come to know God's authority and majesty. For the repose of the souls of those who have died in the service to their nations, and for all who continue to risk their lives in military service. For our communities, that our communion and faith will become a more perfect likeness of the Blessed Trinity. That people everywhere will have an unfailing respect for all created persons, from conception to death we are created in the image of the Trinity. For those who live without faith, that the love of the Blessed Trinity will awaken their minds and give hope to their hearts. For the grace this week of a renewed awareness through the grace we have in our souls, the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We bring all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. O Mary, Star of the Sea, Light of every ocean, Guide seafarers across all dark and stormy seas, That they may reach the haven of peace and light Prepared in him who calmed the sea. As we set forth upon the oceans of the world And cross the deserts of our time, Show us, O Mary, the fruit of your womb, for without your Son we are lost. Pray that we will never fail on life's journey, that in heart and mind, in word and deed, in days of turmoil and in days of calm, we will always look to Christ and say, Who is this that even wind and sea obey him? Amen. Loving Father, let us remain completely vigilant in our faith and wholly given over to your creative action. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you.